Alright guys, it's CK here and welcome to the first 20 minutes of the full Forza Horizon 3 game. This isn't the demo, I actually got to go to London a couple of weeks ago. Playground Games themselves invited me down and they were quite surprised as well that I came all the way for just a three hour session but that just shows you that I'm dedicated about this game and the, the series as a whole. But it was an absolute fantastic time. I got to meet freaking brilliant people like Ralph Fulton again, the creative director, Andy, one of the drivers, and I'm sure he works on the game as well. And just another couple of YouTubers like Alex from Fair Race, a couple of guys from PTG, and there was a few more. But this, this thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. But anyway, getting to the actual gameplay. Just a warning, I will be talking yes, over Jim. this. The new boss is already at the site. We're gonna head over that way now. We're gonna head over that way now, but this intro kind of gives me a That's feel okay. of, this is day one of I think it's Australia. Test Drive Unlimited. Look at that, man! Seriously, when I first seen this, when I first sat down on the sofa with the game capture, I was like, "Holy shit!" Because it's a big 4K TV I was playing on Listen with up, the Xbox Australia. One S. Coming to you live from Horizon Radio. We've traveled halfway across the world, and I can't believe we're finally here. I'm looking out the window, and I have to tell you, they have beaches here to take your breath. They may call this the land down under, baby, but all I'm saying is I've never seen anything less down or under. Big, and it's hot, and the roads are just wide open, bro. We're talking fast cars. Cool beats, summer sun, classic style, blazing days, banging nights, burnt rubber, wild parties, and exotic animals. So put your pedal to the floor as we welcome you to Horizon Australia for the biggest, the best, the most out of control event in the history of the Horizon Festival. How good does that look, man? Seriously? How good does it look? We've got big wide body kits, cars. Like the GTR, there was an NSX with a body kit as well. Oh, it just looks so good. Now, the first, like, 10 minutes or so is kind of like the gameplay from E3, but this is me actually playing the game now. The past couple of times I've showed you this, it's been another person that's been playing the game, but this is actually me driving. So, hopefully I'm a little bit better than them. I'd like to think so, at least, because they kept on crashing. I do crash once just in a little second I was trying to get the Centenario sideways but I just want to give you my first opinions on the game when I first sat down and stuff I'm going to start with the graphics even on the Xbox One S this is phenomenal Ten, well not 10 times better but it is a noticeable difference from Horizon 2 it is a lot lot more polished and a lot lot, lot more cleaner now this is the corner this is it and slight wall tap <laughs> Slight wall tap, but yeah, I've cut up this video as well, guys, because the laptop that I was recording on wasn't exactly the most powerful. So, yeah, uh, that's probably the reason why you might see some jump cuts and everything like that. But it's, it's okay, hopefully, you guys like that. But that bit right there, see when you're going through the water using the controller, you can feel the vibration. It's oh, I, I can't put it in any words. It's so good. It is, it, 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 they've transcended like the hydroplaning very, very well from Forza Motorsport 6 to this game. I think Vaughn's coming up in his big monster truck in a second, doesn't he? Hey! Yeah! Oh yes, 600 horsepower. I cannot wait to get my hands on that truck, man, a but... The Warren. overall feel... Okay, a brake overhaul. Okay, a brake overhaul. Say, something about brakes? We're taking the Great Ocean Road to Byron. Just please, don't do anything stupid. <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. You, you'll see that I do something stupid in a minute, but yeah, my overall opinions on the feel of the game, just like the atmosphere and stuff like that, it's kind of like it's kind of like Forza Horizon One and Forza Horizon Two combined, because we've got more kind of like mountainous roads. We've got um, like more kind of desert area and stuff, which was heavily, heavily featured in. Forza Horizon 1 with like the Colorado and stuff, too bad we couldn't really go much off-road in that game, but obviously we can now. This is a cool feature, I don't know if this is a little easter egg for me, not this bit, but it is coming up. It is coming up, you'll see what I mean in a little second, but 
as I was saying, we have got more desert and stuff, which highly reminds me of Colorado and Forza Horizon 1. And we've obviously got like the ocean and stuff uh, on the coast roads, which reminds me of Horizon 2. So it's a really, really good combination. I do like that. But this is us pulling into the, I believe, the Byron Bay Festival in SLK, which sounds very nice. Now, this is a thing that I was very hyped about. Character selection. Now, I think that actually pre-rendered characters, I'm not too sure if you can actually customize them yet, okay, but this, I went mad when I seen this. You can choose like nicknames, you can choose male or female names, but every game that this is in, there's never a Frank, but thank you Playground, thank you so much, there is a Frank in this. Just listen. What do you think of the place? There's the Easter egg, Jag F type. Fry 488. If it was a 458, that'd be an even bigger Easter egg. Damn right, it's my festival. I'm the boss. I know you've just arrived, but the very first event starts in a few minutes, and I've got you the best seat in the house. Oh yeah. So basically, she was explaining the Horizon Blueprint there that we can make up our own events and stuff and change the music. <laughs> she said easy, not boring. Yeah, I'll give you that, Hen. I'll give you that. This is definitely not boring. We're in a buggy racing a helicopter with a freaking Willy's Jeep hanging off here. I wouldn't call that boring any day. <laughs> so, right now, I just went in to see if I could change the difficulty, like turn the trash control off and everything. But they're still limiting the... I can't say that word. They're still limiting you when you're doing these couple of events first. But I do get the chance to turn it off when we jump back into the Centenario in a wee second. But... That vista right there with all the water. Oh god, it's gonna be one of them games where I'm just gonna be sitting looking at the environment because I'm jealous of you Australians. I live in Scotland, if this is the first video you've seen from me. I live in Scotland where it essentially rains nearly every single day. So to the fact that we're getting treated to kind of like a paradise area and everything with like desert, sun, brilliant oceans and stuff. That's brilliant, because the most we get is fucking Solcoats. That's it. Solcoats is our coast, coastal town, which is okay. Being there, we've got Largs as well. It's been a, a vlog from going to Largs as well, but this buggy race was a lot of fun to do, man. Even though I've seen some gameplay of it, when you've got it in your hands, it is a hell of a hell of a lot of fun to do. Here comes the jump. Here comes the jump. Do 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 do. Here comes the jump, but as I was saying, the overall feel, as I said, it was like Horizon 1 and Horizon 2, but the handling feeling, I'm going to try and compare that to Horizon 2 in a wee second after this. He just drops it. Come on, buggy. Come on. And a swaggy handbrake turn across the line. And another thing I should say, if the audio is a wee bit out of sync, due to the laptop, can't do anything about it, guys, so apologies. Yes. And we do eventually do that, but I was only allowed to record nice one hour of gameplay. Name's Warren. I know you're in charge, but I'm your bloke in the garage. So you need anything car related, you come to me. Oh, one more thing before we go though. Kira said you might want to drive the Centenario. Damn right I do. Damn right I do, man. We're just look how mean that is. Big name guest drivers into the festival now. Most of them just want a chance to line up next to you. Right, so essentially Kira, which is essentially the new Alice Hart or Ben in the game, uh, he or she, what the fuck am I calling him a he? But yeah, why am I calling her a he? I don't know why, but yeah, she's kind of like Alice Hart in this one. She tells you, would you like a new car, even though you've just bought a new car? I hope she doesn't like that. I'm, I'm praying she doesn't like that. When I went into the garage or the gar the garage, it was Warren. So. He didn't interrupt us that much. But here we are going through the rainforest and stuff. I'm trying to get the Centenario sideways. So I've turned the tracks control off. I've got the stability control off. And it was quite a blast for it being an all-wheel drive car. It was pretty damn easy to get sideways. But yet again, yet again, that is the Forza series. And Horizon is a little bit more casual than motorsport. This one I thought I was going to spin. That was some major angle. <laughs> major, major angle. But... This is us just coming into the town of Byron Bay, and I have to say it reminds me of Carson from like, like either either Baymount or Carson from Horizon 1. But this wee town has tiny, tiny, narrow alleyways. It's the same way Surfers Paradise 
Um, later on in the fear session, I actually went to Surfer's Paradise, but we'll talk about that either late in the video or in the next video, which is going to be very special indeed. Very special. Oh yes, but I wanted to put this one up first, but yeah. As you can see, we're in a head-to-head -head race with a la 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 Ferrari right now. Um, it was easy enough, obviously, because I just tried to get you introduced into the game, but this was quite a close call here. Very close call. Them two buggers just cutting me off, but that's an epic view. Koenigsegg 1-1 one one in a la Ferrari. I mean, I think this is the first time we actually get to drive the Koenigsegg 1-1 one one in an open world one, because I don't think it was in Horizon 2. So we'll be blasting that right down the road, but... We've seen a, a Ventador there, a uh, like in Hypersport, but just managed to take over this guy again. Look at that, but this Lambo, holy shit, for the time I actually got to drove it, it's amazing. I'm going to be doing a full review on it when the game does drop, but from what I actually got to drive of it, it was very, very impressive. So, when they actually... The more fans will attract to the festival. I'll let you know next time we've identified a potential lineup recruit. Right, so basically as she was saying there, that's what I was going to say, uh, whenever you do like a head-to-head -head race, you can recruit the people, which is quite a good touch, quite like that. Listen to that, spitting of flames and everything, just so good. This is where I kind of get all giddy, because whenever I see the ocean, like a good coast road, I, oh, I turn into crisis mode, because that's the sort of roads that I like. Oh, there we go! That was one of the best drifts, but coming up! is something that I don't think anyone else done while they were at the session because all the guys from Playground, well nearly all of them, were standing right behind me when I done this. Uh, you'll see in a little second, it's in the title as well. Uh, I kind of jumped this car off of a cliff. I was like, why follow the sat-nav down the road when you can jump off the cliff? But I didn't know this at the time. I thought it was going to be a barrier or something. But there we go. Lamborghini getting chucked off a freaking cliff. God, the insurance would have been mental for that right there. <laughs> but that is coming to an end of my time with the Centenario, and now we get to choose another car. And you think I had a crisis mode when I was drifting that? See when this lineup was presented to us? I just broke down because we've got a Malou at the very end there, we've got a GT350R, the Sylvia, which we are going in right now, and big, big hint to the next video. That's all I'm saying. Big, big, big hint to the next video. And we How obviously had the BMW M4 there, but this... Alright, Warren, shut up now. I'm trying to speak. <laughs> but yeah, this was really cool as well. Um, Ian, the community manager from Playground Games, was watching me do this. And I kind of struggled because obviously I can't fit EK Drifter 458 in it. So I had to improvise. I had to improvise, which you'll see in a little second. So we've got the EKD. I've put one in instead of the I, and I've just put an R instead of the ER, which I think was quite a good touch. So that's going to be my official license plate for the game. Oh, listen to that. Listen to it, man. Now, I mean, I don't know what you guys make of the wing on this, but you'll see in the next video that I actually take it off. That's all the hints I'm getting. But to do that, we need fans. And to bring in fans, we need you out there, running races and performing PR stunts. Our festival scouts have been hard at work mapping points of interest with these markers. Set a route to a marker and let's see what we can find. Right, so I went naturally for the forest away one because I want to drive this thing the most. And essentially what she's saying is that you need to go and do them races to get more fans in. The and these fine. are the radio stations. I'll let you listen to the music for a wee bit because Block Party made my... Freaking, I made me piss myself. Listen. It's fucking oh, Deadpool, God. bitches! Right away. Fucking Deadpool DMX. See, when I first flicked onto this station, I I probably laughed the roof down in the white space place where we were in for the event, and I was like, I was saying to a couple of the guys, like, fantastic choice. <laughs> Is, uh, the 1975 is in this. Um, I'll talk about the soundtrack in the next one because I went mental when they were showing like a 10, 10 minute gameplay footage before we got our hands in the game. But I was by far the most excited person in that room because everyone was quite sedate, everyone was just chatting away and everything. And here's me going, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> I was sitting there for this 10 minute gameplay just like, oh my god, this is so good, but. 
Yeah, we had Ralph Fulton to the right of me. I was in the front row. And Andy, the guy that I was chatting to, talking about the music, talking about cars in general, uh, from Playground Games, he was playing the game uh, to the left of me, so I had a front row seat, which was which I was pretty happy about. And Alex of Fail Race, he was sitting behind me to the left, I believe. And Game Riot was there, and a couple of the guys from PTG and stuff, as I says. It's a really cool event. Um, it was brilliant, absolutely brilliant. That's all I'm going to say, but. Yeah, I think we're just coming up to a really, really cool stunt jump right now. Um, my mouth was open, my jaw was dropped, I should say, when it did happen. But this thing, the Sylvia, it slides so easy. But I do end up putting more power into it. Another hint. <laughs> you all know what it is. You all know what's coming anyway, but I'm not a fan of the wing. I'm not a fan of the wind, my friend. I like it clean. I do like it clean, but this was pretty unnatural doing this. Taking a freaking wide body car off-road, but that's all the perks of Horizon, isn't it? That's what you do, my friend. That's what you do. And here it is! Slow motion. Oh, bang. <laughs> the suspension is broke. Excellent. They love that one. I'll tell the scouts to find more. Meanwhile, I'm about to go and have a very lively phone call with our insurance company. <laughs> Alright, you're going to get a lot of freaking... I don't know how much you're going to get it for your insurance on that one, man. Holy shit, but this right. race was the really, really fun. Racing. It was all so JDM icons and stuff, exhibition. like um, the GT86, the Supra, the R34, which was in this. You'll see in a wee minute. It's pretty good. 350. The 350Z actually looks pretty damn nice. I like it in that colour and... Oh, just just the graphics itself, man, is incredible. As I said, we were playing on Xbox One S, and the guys, when they were actually showing off, were running it on the PC, and <laughs> seeing it from the Facebook live stream with that quality, which was like 720p, and seeing it in real life, see, seeing it in real life like a, a centimeter, or like a meter away for you, it's night and day. Absolute night and day. I mean, the clarity of it, the colours of it. It sounds like I'm trying to sell the game here, but I'm not. It's just I'm just being genuine. It is freaking breathtaking, man. But yeah, as I said, this is the GDM race. We're having some fun and everything. Nero is on in the background. One of my favourite EDM bands. Not the one that I'm going to be talking about though. Super the S13 is in as well. Cause I had a flick down the car list, and I have to say. They might have slipped up that day, because I kind of know some cars that might be coming into the game which aren't confirmed. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't want to get into trouble, but I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But let's just say it has been nearly nearly all the cars have flicked down that haven't been confirmed. I have asked for, which is freaking mental. Seriously, I've made a couple of wish list videos. And all the ones that I flicked down have the cars that I want. Oh yes! So thanks, Playground, if you are watching. Thank you very much, man. Seriously, it's unbelievable. And you guys are gonna love the cars. You really, really are. If you're into your German whips, then you're gonna like that. If you like old British cars, you're gonna like that as well. And if you like, let me. I'm trying to think. Um, kind of like supercar manufacturers, but they're not really big supercar manufacturers. <laughs> I'm trying to say this without giving it away, man, but yeah, the, the cars are freaking epic. Up, boss. That's a win. It's Ready a win, my friend. Up. It's a freaking win, man, but oh, God. I I'm still shaking. This is like two weeks after the event, and I'm still hyped as hell after it, because the train journey which you'll see in a vlog coming pretty damn soon, flew by when I came back up from London. Right, so she says we're basically a few thousand away, or a few hundred fans away from kind of setting up a new base for the Horizon Festival. Navigation assistant. You can call me Anna. I'm going to suggest things for you to do and help you find your way around Australia. For now, would you like me to set you a route to the next activity? Right, so Anna is back for people that still use the Kinect. I'm personally not a person again, that uses the Kinect, the but yeah, a couple of shots of that Sylvia there was freaking epic. It's 
especially the back. Don't know if I'm going to use it as a thumbnail, probably will. Spitting of flames. So good. And rinse and, rinse and repeat is actually on the radio as well. Bloody love that. But anyway, guys, I'm going to round it off here today. I'm just giving you a quick look at the full map right now, which is bloody massive. It is a lot bigger than I expected. Jesus. It's incredible, but I will see you in my next Horizon 3 video and the last one for the full game gameplay for now until it comes out later tonight, guys. Be hyped, man, because it's going to be a good one. If you have enjoyed it, like's always appreciated, and also subscribe to the channel if you are brand new. But for now, I will see you next time, guys. Peace.